Hello everyone, welcome to the session on how to become an Azure Data Engineer. This is Daman Lang on this side and today in this session I am going to guide you on how to become an Azure Data Engineer. And what are the sets of skills required? Now we're going to discuss the latest DP203 Azure Data Engineer certification, then check out the salary of an Azure Data Engineer. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we move on guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Edureka channel and also click on the bell icon to never miss out on any updates from us. Also, if you guys are interested in our certification training, do check out the link shared in the description box below. Now let's go ahead and get started with the agenda to understand what we'll be covering in this session. Now, so guys, we are going to start off the session by first understanding why should you actually go ahead and understand or become a data engineer in 2023. And then further, we'll move on to discuss who is a data engineer actually or exactly. Then once we're done with that, we'll move on and understand what are the different kinds of job descriptions and salary, especially when you're aiming to become an Azure Data Engineer. After that, I'm going to tell you guys your part towards becoming a successful Azure Data Engineer. And then understand the things I needed to learn in order to crack the Azure Data Certification, which we're going to be discussing in details. Now, finally, we're going to discuss how you can get started with all these things that we are going to discuss in this session and become a certified Azure Data Engineer. All right, guys, so this is the agenda for this session. I hope it's clear to you guys. So let's get started with our first topic, which is why should you actually go ahead and become a data engineer? So, all right, guys, so you must have heard about data scientists or a data analyst, right? Now, the core of their job is to basically work on data. Now, data engineers are people who basically avail this data, which has to be worked on to data scientists or a data analyst, right? So if you think about any company which basically has to have a data scientist or a data analyst will need a data engineer in the team, right? Now talking about that or if you talk about the data engineer profile, now according to a tech job report by 2028, the number of jobs involving data will rise by 12% according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics and more than 5,46,200 new roles related to big data will result from this. Now, you must have heard that being a data scientist is probably the next go-to of the 21st century. But understand this, guys, without data engineering, there is no data science. That is why the number speaks for themselves. Hence, the data engineering job is basically one of the fastest growing jobs. Now, even in 2023, there is going to be a huge jump in the number of jobs opening. The reason being a lot of things, a lot of businesses have basically gone online in the past years because of the pandemic. Now, there are several reasons why organization may choose to hire an Azure Data Engineer or why an individual may choose to pursue a career as an Azure Data Engineer. So the first reason being its high demand. So what I meant by that is as an organization increasingly rely on data to drive business decision, there is a high demand for professionals who are skilled in designing and implementing data management solutions. Now, according to Microsoft, the demand for an Azure Data Engineer has increased by over 100% in the past years. So the second reason being its strong earning potential. Now, an Azure Data Engineer are in high demands, right? So which often translate into what? Into a strong earning potential. Now, according to the Glassdoor, the median salary of an Azure Data Engineer in the United States is anywhere around $120,000 to $133,000 per annum. And the third reason being career growth opportunities. Now, as you all know, the role of an Azure Data Engineer provide opportunities for career growth as individual can advance to positions such as data architect or a data scientist, right? Now, the fourth reason is Azure is a leading cloud platform. Now, what I mean by that is Azure is a leading cloud platform with a growing number of organization using it to store and manage data. Now, as an Azure Data Engineer, you will have the opportunity to work with the latest technologies and gain valuable experience that is in high demand in the job market. Now the fifth and the last reason being its flexibility. Now as an Azure data engineer, you can work in a variety of industry, giving them the opportunity to choose a career path that aligns with their interests and goals. This is where you come and work in a variety of roles, including full-time or as a freelancing position. Now, as you can say, overall becoming an Azure data engineer can provide individual with a rewarding career path that offers a strong earning potential, career growth opportunity, and the chance to work with the latest technology in a flexible and dynamic environment. Now that you have understood that why data engineering can be the next big thing in the coming job world, 
Now let's go ahead and understand who is a data engineer exactly and what does he do. All right, so guys, a data engineer are basically not only responsible for giving the data to the data scientists or to the data analysts. Now they basically have a generalist role where they have to do most of the jobs that probably a data scientist or a data analyst also has to do. So the first job that they have to basically understand is they will get the requirement from the data scientist that this is the kind of data they need and now they have to figure on the internet how they can find that data. Now once they found the data they will have to create a process right now on how the data can be brought to their own platform and make it basically ready for the data scientist to use right. So you can say that they have a job of managing and organizing the data that basically will be looked upon by the data scientist and basically help him to find out the trends and other things which can help a company to improve its current business and opportunities okay now secondly talking or pinpointing the exact role that our data it is basically divided into three types of data engineers right now there are people who are generally called as a data engineer now when we say that there are people who basically not only does the data engineer work but also have their roles and responsibility coincide with the data scientists and a data analyst also which he also does right for example people who are a data engineer they will also have to do the job of a data scientist now they will also do the job of a data analyst and they are usually people who are at a very high or senior profiles and they basically have to wear multiple hats right so say for example let's say once again let's say you introduce a new data team in a company now that data team is still in a very nascent stage right so probably the person who has to set up the team initially will have to do all the work now which is required to basically show the stakeholder that this team can actually work right and once it becomes successful then he basically hires more people who can do more specific tasks which are basically tasks that has been doing previously okay so that's what a generalist data engineer does then you have people who are basically pipeline centric data engineer now that is people who basically have the job of setting up how to bring with the data which is basically online or you know scraping of data from the web then converting or transforming it into a useful manner or in a useful state and then giving it to a data scientist so that he can consume the data so this pipeline which is created from the web to the point where a data scientist can use it is basically called a pipeline for data so a guy who basically looks after this pipeline or a data engineer who basically look only after this pipeline is called the pipeline centric data engineer then the third kind of data engineer is database centric data engineer now in some companies they basically say we have all the data in a database now you check this data and then you figure out what can be used by a data scientist to make their job better or through which these guys can actually go ahead and able to do their job so in those cases you need to have the skills or you know expertise in that database which the company is using and hence for him the job becomes a database entry out of which he will have to create a pipeline right so these are the three kinds of a data engineer which are out there and if we basically take a look out of it and define the jobs or responsibility of a data engineer he is basically responsible for creating architectures which are related to data pipelines he is the guy who will be aligning the architecture with the business requirement he will be the guy who will be responsible for data acquisition he will be the guy who will be developing processes to which he will be creating the data pipeline now he will also be making use of a lot of programming languages and tools to accomplish this and he will also be the guy who will basically be responsible to further enhance the data reliability efficiency and quality so guys these are the roles of a data engineer and after this i think you guys now have an idea about what a data engineer will do in his day-to-day -day life now let's move on and talk about what are the salaries and followed by we shall also see the career opportunities which are there in becoming a data engineer so let's go ahead and also understand the average salary of a data engineer so in the us the average salary of a data engineer is one hundred and thirty three thousand dollars but remember guys this is basically an average salary which basically means that there are people who are above this salary or can even be a person who is below this salary okay but later in this session i'm also going to talk about some of the job description which can tell you the kind of salary that you can earn once you start applying for a data engineer profile in india the salary is around 6.5 lakhs per annum or a 7 lakh per annum and the same goes for an indian jobs as well 
that the salary can be higher than this average package or it can be lower than the package as well. Now that you have seen the basic or an average scale of a Azure Data Engineer, let's go ahead and see the job description of an Azure Data Engineer. All right, guys, so thinking again about what a data engineer does, an Azure Data Engineer is responsible for designing, implementing, and maintaining data management and data processing system on the Microsoft Azure Cloud Platform. Now, they work with large and complex data sets and are responsible for ensuring that data is stored process and secure efficiently and effectively. Now, when you basically define a job role like that, you have many jobs description, which are floating in the market, right? Now, how can you identify which job description you have to apply to? Now, let's go ahead and understand that. So talking about the job description, which basically exists in the market, guys, you will see a job description, which is an entry level job description. And then on the next slide, I will show a job description, which is a mid or a senior level job description. All right. So heading back to the entry level. So if you see the first job description, which is an Azure data engineer, the salary is anywhere around 6 lakh per annum to 14 lakhs per annum. And these are the skills that you require. Now, as I mentioned before, these are the expected skills required for an Azure data engineer. Now, what are the skills which are expected? Now, you are expected to know NoSQL or a Cosmos database skill. Now, they are expected to know data lake, data factory, data warehouse, and strong experience in building pipelines in Azure data or an Azure data lake. Then you should be able to analyze and understand complex data. You should be able to understand business requirement and actively provides input from data perspective. Now, at the same time, if you look at these skill sets, these skill sets are all the skills at which you will basically know after you study for or clear the Azure Data Engineer certification. So once you're done with the certification, once you are done with the skill sets, which is just there in the certification, you can easily go ahead and apply for a job that lies in the salary range, which is for an Azure Data Engineer. Now, talking about a mid-senior level data engineer profile, the list is quite long, as you can see. Now you can see that over here, apart from all these skill sets, a lot of other things are also mentioned here as well. For example, you should have some four or five plus years of experience in implementing or designing solution using Azure Big Data Technologies. Then you should have an experience with an hands-on in Azure Data Factory, Azure DevOps, Azure Data Lake Storage, etc. Now you should have a knowledge of Big Data Pipeline, then design and build modern data pipelines and maintain the data warehouse schematics, layouts, architecture, and relational or non-relational database for data access and advanced analytics. Now you should also know Java, jQuery, SQL or Scala or any preferred programming language, right? So over here, what we recommend to our learners is you should go ahead and learn Python because although they have mentioned only these programming language, but companies are very much flexible. Now, If the target profile has any programming experience, but a strong one in any of the programming languages, right? Next thing that they expect you to know is advanced skill using one or most common language, for example, like Python, Batch, etc. So this Python will basically serve as a dual purpose. That is all a scripting language and a programming language as well. The next thing that they expect you to know is the ETL process using big data technologies such as Spark, Kafka, Hadoop and others. Now the next thing that they expect you to know is the ETL process using big data technologies such as Spark, Kafka, Hadoop, and others. And then you need to understand the data visualization experience using Python. Python here is a plus, guys, so you need to understand this. And then you actually need to learn Tableau or a Power BI. Any one of the tools or technology is a plus point. So you either have to have a skill on Tableau or a Power BI. So this again is an important skill to have and this again coincide with what a data analyst does, right? Because he is also responsible for data visualization to some extent. Then you have a solid understanding and experience implementing cloud data platform in Microsoft Azure DevOps. So if you're a guy who wants to start off, you can start off with the fresher profile and after having experience in the fresher profile and learn all the skill sets like big data, Azure, these are the skill sets that if you gain, you can actually apply to the senior or mid-level in particular. Okay, so guys, these are the few job description which are related to the data engineer profile. Now that we are clear with why, who and what are the career opportunities and salary of an Azure data engineer, 
we shall see the path towards becoming an Azure Data Engineer. So first of all, you will have to talk about the different Azure storage which are out there. Now you'll have to learn about these like the blob storage, table storage, file storage and the queue storage. Now you will have to learn about the relational database options as well, which are there in the market such as the SQL database, SQL DB warehouse and list services. Now you will also have to learn about NoSQL. You will have to learn about big data services in Azure like data lake analytics, data lake storage. Now you also have to learn about the data factories, Azure functions, stream analytics, IoT hubs, even hubs, etc. Now apart from that, you will also need to learn Redis cache and Azure search. So these are the services that are basically required for you to understand in order to clear the certification and go ahead and become an Azure data engineer. Now these are also coincide with the job description that we had a look earlier, right? Now all the services which are mentioned there is basically a part of what you have learned in order to crack the certification. Now apart from this, we also recommend going through the open source services of Hadoop such as Spark, Hive and the Hadoop itself, right? Now let us go step by step to reach our goal in becoming an Azure data engineer. So in order to become an Azure data engineer, you will also need to have a strong foundation in data engineering and cloud computing. Here are some steps you can take to develop the skills and knowledge needed for a career as an Azure data engineer. So the first one is learn the basics of data engineering. Now in order to become an Azure data engineer, you should first develop a strong foundation in data engineering concepts such as data modeling, data pipelines, data processing and data storage. Now you can learn these concepts through online courses or books or by working on practical projects. Now the second is a learning or programming language. Now as an Azure data engineer, you will need to proficient in at least one programming languages as I've already mentioned earlier. Now Python is a very popular choice for data engineering, but you can also consider learning languages such as Java, C Sharp or Scala. Now the next step is you need to learn an SQL. Now as a data engineer, you will be working with a large amount of data. You've already known that since the name itself as an Azure data engineer. So you will need to be a proficient in SQL to extract and transform data. Now the next thing you need to learn is Azure data storage options. Now as you know, Azure offers a range of data storage options such as Azure Blob Storage, Azure Data Lake Storage, Azure Cosmos DB, Azure SQL Database and Azure Synapse Analytics formerly SQL Database Warehouse. Now you should familiarize yourself with the features and capabilities of these storage options. Now the next thing you need to learn is Azure Data Processing Technologies. Now Azure provides several technologies for processing data such as Azure Stream Analytics, Azure Data Bricks, Azure Data Factory and Azure HD Insights. You should learn how to use these technologies to build data pipelines for ingestion, transforming and processing data. So the next thing you need to learn is Azure Data Management and Security. So you as an Azure Data Engineer should learn about the Azure tools for managing and securing data such as Azure Data Catalog, Azure Data Lake Security and Azure Private Link. So what is the next step? The next step is get certified. As you know, getting certified is very crucial and it's very important in today's generation because all the organization as I mentioned earlier if I just have to go back in my slide I will show you the job description where they have actually mentioned that you need to actually pass the certification all right this is the certification you required that is the DP 200 and a DP 201 but as for now you don't need DP 200 or DP 201 you only have to give one exam which I'll be further talking about it that is the DP 203 all right guys so moving ahead again so you need to earn an Azure Data Engineer Associate Certification by passing the DP203 exam, right? Now, what is the next thing you need to do is you need to gain practical experience. Now, the best way to learn Azure Data Engineering is by working on practical projects. Now, we all know this, right? Now, you can find data engineering projects on online platforms such as Kegel, or you can work on projects in your own organization or you can enroll with Edureka and they provide you a tons and tons of live projects which are developed by the instructor who have already worked as a data engineer in their organization. Now the next thing you need to learn is continue learning. Now as a data engineer, you will need to keep your skills and knowledge up to date as technologies and best practices evolve, right? 
Now, making sure to stay current by learning about new Azure Data Engineering features and participating in professional development activities. All right, guys. So now let us understand the things that you need to know about this certification that I've just talked about. That is your DP203. So guys, if you're applying for an Azure Data Engineer Associate, there used to be two exams that you have to give, which I've just mentioned now on the screen in the previous slide, right? One is implementing an Azure Data Solution and the next exam is design an Azure Data Solution. Now, after clearing both these exams, it will give you the Azure Data Engineering Associate Certification. And these two exams basically have the code, like I've mentioned, DP200 and DP201, right? But now this exam have been retired on 23rd February 2021. Now you guys just have to give one exam to clear the data engineer certification. And this exam is DP203. Now what they have done is they have clubbed both these exams and they have now included its syllabus in just one exam. They're asking questions from it, right? So earlier what you have to do is you have to pay for two exams, then prepare for two exams and give them and then only you could get the certification. But now, just by passing one exam, you can clear out the data engineer certification, right? Now, as part of the new exams, now the skill sets have been updated as you can see on the screen. So basically, these are the distribution of topics and they'll be covered in this exam. Now, first of all, you will be asked most of the questions on design and implement data storage. Now, this is going to have 40 to 45 percent of weightage, okay? Now I'm going to tell you what are the topics that comes under the design and implement data storage. So make sure you write it down. Okay, guys. So the first is design a data storage structure. Then the second is design a partitioning strategy. Then the next question is design the serving layer. Then you have the implement physical data storage structures, then implement logical data structure. And lastly, implement the serving layer. Now after this, you will have design and develop data processing. Now this is of 25 to 30% weightage. Now there are four points coming under this design and develop data processing. Now the first is you need to learn about the ingest and transform data. Second is design and develop a batch processing solution. The third is design and develop a stream processing solution. And lastly, we have the manage batches and pipelines, all right? So coming to the third is design and implement data security, which is of 10 to 15%. So there are two main topics here that is design security for data policies and standards and the second is implement data security now talking about the last is you have the monitor and optimize data storage and data processing which is again of 10 to 15 percent now even here also we have two main topics that you need to be covered that is the monitor data storage and data processing and the second is optimize and troubleshoot data storage and data processing now, if you are with me till at this point, you shall have understood what are all the things that you have to learn in order to clear the exams and become an Azure data engineer, right? Since we have already discussed what are the path and what are the skills to learn to prepare ourselves. So like I said earlier, you now just have to give this DP203 exam to get the Microsoft Certification Associate Data Engineering Certification, okay? So just one exam and now you will get the certification for it, right? So now let's move on guys and now let's talk about how you guys can get started in clearing this exam and developing those skills and go ahead and apply for the job and become a successful Azure data engineer. So we have mentioned a lot of things that you have to learn, but how exactly you should go forward and start learning these things. Let's go ahead and clear that out. So first of all, guys, what we can do for you is you can basically refer to a lot of blocks. That we have written on or we frequently update the videos on youtube as well such as this video which has info about the engineering certification or how to become an azure data engineer now we frequently put more videos for such topics now you can go through them and basically get a jump start into how you can prepare it. now my recommendation to you will be to plan out your working plan hours after or before working shift of yours now you should at least spend three to four hours every day for the next two or three months in order to clear this certification exam otherwise if you don't invest this much amount of time guys it is going to be very difficult to crack the exam because there are a lot of things to learn especially if you're not from a data engineering domain now it is going to be a little difficult because you will have to read documentation you will have to do hands-on right now at some point you will get stuck and you'll have some issues you have to figure out what went wrong or what's wrong with the hands-on 
I know this because I've also been there guys but getting stuck is the most beautiful part of learning anything because that is where you start the actual research and about how things work right so spend at least two to three hours every day either after your work shift or before your work shift to basically learn these technologies right and now for those people who feel like they do not have the time or they do not want to invest time in researching and they want someone to help them out in getting this exam cleared and become a successful Azure data engineer so guys we at Adoreka also offer a course of Microsoft Azure certification training of the Azure data engineer associate certification course and we also have a master program as well right which will basically help you in clearing the Azure data engineer associate certification right now if you need a helping hand and you need someone or you need to be taught by someone who's already cleared this examination and is already working as a data engineer in the industry then this is the right course for you guys so with this guys i would like to take a leave from you all if you have any doubts related to the topic or certification you can always contact us or comment down in the comment section below all right so thank you guys for joining have a great day ahead and happy learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!